Yo, what's going on, guys? Mike Dow, sorry, back with another video. Today, we're in some good old fashioned Phantom Forces. Now, you may be asking, what are we doing today? Well, I'll show you. We go over to the AK 103, and as you can see, it has something special done to it to look normal. Maybe take candidate clock off, actually. <laughs> um, we're Americanizing non-american guns and i think it's best to do with the most american rounds known to man which is 556 five, but that's not the only way you can americanize the gun because every single attachment that you see on this gun from the carry handle and loudner and the pistol grip to 556 five, they all have something in common they're all made in the united states of freedom i mean america so, uh, yeah, Th this should be fun. Let me turn sound up. I'm stupid. There we go. This actually isn't that bad of a setup. I was using it, like, last night when I first made this. But, uh, I, I'm not the one that came up with this idea. One of my friends on Discord came up with the idea for it. And I was just, like... Why not turn it into a whole video? So yeah. We're we're here now. And um Yeah, th this is gonna My game is My game is uh dying slightly. But it's okay. I. Uh, if only I was actually good at the game right now. But you know. There we go. You know, if I didn't have to deal with input lag issues every two seconds, that would be lovely. But, uh, yeah. Going one and four, that's not the best, but... Ah, uh, this A12 child. Anyways. Um, let's see, what what else could we do? I mean, if I really want to talk to STG into an Americanized gun. But I don't feel like spending almost 2,000 credits on 556 conversion. Although that would make it so much better. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Two two three is an American rum. And Aug is not an American gun, last I checked. Uh let, let's do a quick Google search. Alexa. Where was uh two two three Remington created? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, .222 Remington is popular in Europe, where it is known as the 5.7x43 millimeters. Oh, it's European. I'm stupid. So, uh, yep, .223 is, uh, not loud either. But, uh, AK-12 can get 5.56. So, we're making an Americanized AK-12. Need canted ACOG for canted ACOG because ACOG is American round or it's an American scope, not round. Holy shit! Uh, pistol grip is American because why not? Why wouldn't it be? Loudner for freedom. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. And then ACOG. Ah, no, that's the bad ACOG. Yeah, uh, let's see. DDHB reflex. Oh, my, my friend joined. Ah. This is uh, interesting. Three and six. I am good at the game. Let's see. Warehouse, please. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else is. Yeah, I think you, Alexa. Is Eotech an American company? Here's something I found on the web. According to Legionusa.com, Eotech is an American company that develops, okay. manufactures, and sells electro optical products and systems. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. TA11, actually. No, nah, this ain't the right ACOG. Um, fuck. You know what? Nah, carry handle because. Carry handle. Oh, that's I hate the new ragdolls in the game. I'm gonna stop trying to even. Oh, five five six has no pen. Okay. Uh, yep, nice one, nice one, bro. No, I'm also gonna use American Secondary. Uh, let's see, Secondary. Zip. <laughs> yeah. That sounds about right. Zip is like, I don't know, 1911, duh. Classic American. Okay, trying to hit fire with this is... Ah, for fuck's sake. Frags are technically American. Just some casual advice in chat. That's not going to kill anyone because you know it's on their point, our point, whatever. Okay, five five six is like actually bad. No, I'm gonna just like turn chat off for now. Oh, that's getting screenshotted. 
I wonder if I can turn this into a 5.56 DMR. That would be... Come on. I'm gonna try and use this as a DMR real quick. Hold on. I need to turn spawns off as well. Oh, this is burst. Um, V again. Oh yeah, AK-12 DMR now. Okay. <laughs> okay, AK-12 DMR is usable. I really do need it. <laughs> AK-12 DMR. Okay, I died finally. <laughs> AK-12 DMR, baby! 556! <laughs> Hell yeah! Fuck it, I'm putting a fucking regular AK on this bitch, too. <laughs> hmm. Actually, should I? Yeah, TA-44. Oh, this is the low... one. Ah, for fuck's sake, I guess I'm 16. Alright, next time I die, I'm gonna... Switch. Keep in burst for... CQC. Till I get to a DMR. Or, yeah, sniping spot. Come on, peek buddy. Where are you? Why do I feel like this thing just like has no wallbang ability? Ah, oh, thank you, Giga Chad, for two two three Ram on the M sixteen. Anyways, uh, next one. <laughs> do I have? Yeah, unlock. I don't think I have five five six unlocked the naked one five. I shouldn't. Anyway. Which I don't. Uh, RPK, do you get 5.56? I doubt. Yeah, no. But you do shoot, one of you shoots 5.45. You do. No, do you just shoot 5.56? No, you shoot 5.45 as well. You can get 7.62 though on it for some reason. Uh, all gauge power gets 223, but doesn't get anything else. Let's look at scout class for a second. Call SMG does get 556, but it's also American, so it doesn't fit what we're trying to do. <laughs> um. Let's see. This is a mostly Americanized version of MP40. Because 9 by 19 is like the only thing that isn't. Yeah, this is not going to work either. Hmm, maybe there's a sniper you can delete, um, I don't know what I'm even trying to say at this point. Yeah, maybe a DMR actually. SSR gets 6.5 Creedmoor. I don't know if that's American route though. Alexa, where was 6.5 Creedmoor created? 
Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, as of January 2020, Lapua is also manufacturing 6.5 feet more brass with large rifle primers. Cool. Useless as always. Actually, is J36 platform American? No, they're German. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Google. Because if this is the case, I can use a fucking... A 300 Blackout is American. So it's 223 Remington, so I could have used 223. This already has 300, but the rest of it is not actually. <laughs> I'm going to turn this into a DMR as well, actually. Now, uh, let's see. Don't know why this gets Romanian grip, but whatever. Barrel Loudner, yep. T33 ACOG, yep. Everything seems fine. Let's chuck you into semi and use this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think this is a uh, slightly busted. Ah, fucking AK-74, just full spam. That's delicious in my mouth, face hole. So what have we learned here today, kids? Um, chuck all of your guns into Americanized versions of themselves and then turn them into DMRs. I could've swore I... Pressed V. And not... Not be. Oh boy, I feel bad for the enemy team. For me using this. Also, this is like almost no sway. Which is shocking. Longer range, it's not. Uh, yep, that makes sense perfectly. You know, I would be even better if my aim was better. Um,. Turn chat on for that. I am so confused by that. I'm confused on everything that just happened with that. I'm getting just like sprayed at real, real quick. Alrighty then.
There we go. Now it's in full auto, I think. Okay. This yellow is annoying. I'm changing ACOX. This setup though is like why is this actually good in a semi auto? There, Barsco Electro. Okay, ac you know, if I wasn't just getting spawn killed by a BFG, that would be lovely. Okay. Now I have put it in DMR form. So I'm going to be very good with this. Except when something like that happens and I just get rushed. Okay, uh, I'm stuck in semi auto mode. As in, that's pretty good for DMR uh, guns, DMR A uh, American guns. Anyways, if you enjoyed this. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload. And I hope you guys may actually do this with your own guns. Probably don't. I don't really recommend it. It's just a stupid thing that I just wanted to do. Anyways, Mike the Outsider saying peace. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.